All right, folks, here we go. Analyzing flows. Um, this time we're going to look at application spikes. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Um, again, StealthWatch is used to find things like compromised hosts, spikes in traffic, copyright infringement, uh, APTs, um, zero days, etc. Um, tons of capabilities. So today we're going to focus on application spikes. And here we go. So first off, we're going to go and grab the host group dashboard and we're going to focus on the network tab. Um, you're going to be able to see uh, application traffic inbound and outbound, right? And if you uh, hoover over top of uh, the graph itself, it'll let you know what protocols are in play. Um, uh, the top is inbound, the bottom is outbound. Um, for things like uh, spike in Windows Update because there's a misconfiguration, well, you would see that here. Um, and here's just uh, an overview of traffic. So you can see, again, uh, additional protocols. And then there's a couple graphs on the side showing some of the top uh, 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 applications, etc. that might be running on the network. So let's, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit and... Uh, and again, you can see that uh, we can see the traffic. And if at the bottom, uh, the legend there, if we scroll over it, it'll highlight um, elements in the graph uh, that are specific to those applications. So we can see a couple. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a few of them um, and just have a quick uh, peek. So let's look at SSH to start. Um, and this could be something interesting, right? Especially if the conversation is taking place between an internal host and a host in a, uh, in a region uh, of concern and there's lots of data being transferred. Um, we can see 90, over 90% 90 of the traffic's being generated by this specific uh, asset. We can then jump into the host snapshot, see what the top active flows are for this asset. Um, again, it, it may not be in relation to what we're seeing inbound outbound. Remember, we're seeing uh, all flows within the entire organization itself. Um, so this is showing you the top active ones, um, as well as we have the ability to pivot to identity to see if there's uh, an individual user um, that could be assigned or logged into that asset. In this case, we can see that there is. Uh, again, we got the MAC address and we've got the device type as well. Uh, and then we can also see security events. So you, this, uh, you may, may have started with an application spike, um, but we may also discover other uh, things that are interesting. So let's move along and, and look at another one here. Uh, let's look at uh, uh, P2P. And again, we go in, in, into top conversations and we can see that we have an asset here, uh, uh, obviously um, quite high. Um, we drill into the whole snapshot. Again, we get to see active flows. If there is any identity, we can do that and, and, and as well as things like security events. So nothing really different. We can just drill into that. Um, we also have the ability to see that geolocation uh, identity, right? So the flags themselves, very quickly we can see not only the flag but the country that's associated to it. Um, and again, we see this host here with a couple of uh, uh, security events as uh, associated to it. So again, we could export this off, send it to help desk or security to do some initial uh, analysis. Um, but also we might want to look at why that application uh, generated a spike. It might be an internal application. There might not be any security event associated uh, associated to it, but something that we might have uh, interest in investigating. Um, a good example of that would be, uh, and I've seen this in the past, um, misconfiguration, WSUS server is no longer being used internally, Patch Tuesday happens, and all of a sudden the data is going to the internet, and you have thousands of hosts going out to the internet getting Windows updates. Um, you're going to certainly see that spike here. Um, all right, so now we're going to look at FTP here. We're going to look at the uh, host again, um, very similar to what we've done up to this point. Um, we can also add other uh, elements or attributes um, here to um, the columns. So we could uh, look at data from uh, all, all kinds of different perspectives, right? Um, in this case, the one I added, th there is nothing, but, um, but th there's tons of options there for you. Um, 
so here we're going to do is look at the flow table for that specific event itself. Um, and you can see here it's it shows you um, you know obviously the client um, who the server is um, as we scroll across we get additional insight into how much data has been transferred um, if this was to a, a country that was uh, you know a suspect in nature uh, by default um, this might lead us to additional investigation so that's it